What's up guys, Sam Matic here, back at it again for another video, here to talk about some new details of Stella Blade from the latest Game Informer magazine. They interview Stella Blade's director, Hyung Tai Kim, as he talks about how Nier was a big inspiration for Stella Blade, also new details on the combat, and how many costumes will be in the game. So first I will cover how Nier is a big influence for Stella Blade. So on the Game Informer side, the person talks about how quickly people are comparing Nier Automata to Stellar Blade. So in this interview, he quotes, You're probably aware of this, but Yoko Taro's Nier Automata was the biggest inspiration for Stellar Blade, Kim says. That was even the starting point or motivation to make this game, so I'm very grateful for that. But we try to make the combat flashier, yet tense. Now on the next page covering Stella Blade, they talk about combat. They specifically talk about how every encounter begins with the decision of going in offensively or defensively. Enemies will not wait for Eve to make a move and she could defend, parry, or use evasive maneuvers. Countering enemies will put them in the groggy state, which opens the window to use combos or beta skills as Kim and Lee refers to them. There is also what's called the balance gauge. And if you succeed in a consecutive parrying, you can deal a huge blow to the enemies. Other combat options include assassinations, range attacks, and more, depending on the situation. So when I think about them describing assassinations, I could kind of think about like how in the Souls franchise, where you go behind the enemy and strike them from behind leading into a permanent death. And speaking about those Souls games, he also says that boss battles can carry a similar strategy. Kim refers to them as the most important content in Stellar Blade and adds that there will be a level of pattern recognition required to defeat them. Combat is being designed in such a way it will require proactive effort from the player, but it is not trying to make an overly challenging game. He doesn't want the difficulty to be inspired too much by like from software titles, but he also says there's also going to be another mode exist for someone who wants to focus more on the narrative part of the game. So if you guys were ever wondering if Eve isn't human or if she's a robot, well it confirms right here that Eve is definitely a human. She is an airborne squad member from space. They also talk about the story a little bit stating that humanity has been defeated by these enemies called Nativists that appeared out of nowhere one day on earth. And so humanity took this space elevator and they escaped to an off-world colony. Kim says that that's where privileged humans live. They also talk about side quests in this article but I'm not going to go into details about this. What I'm going to go into detail about is the costumes. So they say that costumes serve as one of the rewards for completing side quests. But don't expect wearing different outfits to change e-statistics. They emphasize how the costumes are going to be based on the player's preference. They also talk about how the game will feature approximately 30 costumes that will be discoverable throughout the course of the game. What is by stumbling across them, receiving them as rewards, or creating them through found recipes. So this is great news. You don't got to worry about buying additional costumes for Eve. The game is not going to only have like 10 or 5 costumes to get and then you gotta pay for the rest. No, they're gonna have over 30 costumes and sooner or later there's gonna be even more outfits. So there you have it guys, we got a little bit more new information about Stella Blade. Shout out to this Game Informer magazine for doing this interview. And yeah, hopefully they release some more gameplay clips of Stella Blade because I feel like there's been a lack of showing gameplay, especially with the game approaching its release. But let me know what you guys think about these new additional details about Stella Blade and would you guys be picking up Stella Blade when it's released or will you wait for the price to drop? My name is Sam Maddock and for more information regarding Stella Blade, I will be covering this game. Every information, every bit of this game I will be covering. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will highly appreciate it. My name is Sam Maddock and I'll see you guys in the next video.